So the big question is this, how do investors like us who trade options and manage our own money generate income regardless of where the stock market goes and do it all in a way that lets us make time for the people and things we love and yet still build wealth and remain profitable? That's the question and this podcast will give you the answer. I'm your host, Kirk Duplessis, and you're listening to The Daily Call from Option Alpha. Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again from Option Alpha and welcome back to The Daily Call. Today we're going to answer a question which is, why do we use multiple savings accounts? So what I want to start to do is I want to start to, as we progress towards the end of the year, start to include every now and again some of these personal finance style podcasts. And the reason I want to do this is because I get a lot of questions from members in the community about how I manage my personal finances, how I uh, think about or what I think about credit card debt versus auto loan debt versus mortgage or real estate debt, how I manage savings, investing, expenses, types of accounts that we have, budgets that we do. So I want to start doing some more of these types of shows. So again, this is going to be potentially the first of many of these styles. So if you have questions on like how I manage my personal finances and you want to add those to the potential roster for the daily calls, please shoot me an email, send me a tweet, go over to optionalpha.com slash ask, leave us a message. Any way that you can get that question to me would be really helpful because I want to answer as many of these as I possibly can. And we have lots of days moving forward. So we have plenty of room to add these in. So this question here today comes from a member, and they were basically just asking and wondering, I've mentioned before that my wife and I use multiple savings accounts for our managing of personal finances. I think it's a very simple strategy, very effective strategy, and actually don't think a lot of people do this. In fact, I think I've seen research that says that many people have one savings account, but they don't have multiple. So why would you have multiple savings accounts? Well, my wife and I basically have about 10 different savings accounts, and we basically use one as kind of like a little bit of a like everything else goes in that bucket type savings account, but we have 10 different savings accounts. And the reason that we use multiple savings accounts is because when we do our budget every month, we earmark certain things for major items during the year or for major things that we want to save for. And we immediately transfer that money to those respective savings accounts so that we have the money there. And it's basically quarantined from our use and our ability to spend it every time that we do our budget. So for example, We know that we will always have a need for a car, right? We have three kids. We will always have a need for a car. And I've never had a car payment in my life because what I've started doing from day one was saving up and buying only the car I could afford. Shocking revelation, right? Because a lot of people don't do this. And I'm shocked that people don't do this. But I bought originally a car that was $2,000. That was a piece of junk when I originally got out of school. But the reason I bought it for $2,000 was because that's what I had to spend. So I had to buy a car that was $2,000 because that's all the money I had to spend. I never wanted a car payment. So I did not care. And I still don't care about looking flashy or buying a, you know, Lamborghini or Maserati. Like I have a minivan and a truck. Like I'm about as boring and regular as you could possibly get in that department. And so once I bought that first car for $2,000 though, I knew that I never wanted a car payment. And so what I did is I said, okay, if I could afford a car payment, what might that car payment be? Maybe $200, maybe $300. People get approved all the time for, you know, two to $300 or more in car payment. So what I decided to do was set aside every month from what I was making to put aside two to $300 in an account that would then save up for a potential new car. And when I got to the point that I needed a new car, well, whatever I had in that savings account at that time could then go towards the purchase of the new car. Now we've done this now multiple times and that's how we run that particular savings account to save up for a new car. So every month we contribute about $200 to a savings account that just saves up $200 at a time until the point at which we need a new car. When we need a new car, we trade in our old vehicle, right? Or sell our old vehicle, get whatever value we can out of it. And then we combine that or try to do it actually less than that most of the time. Combine that with what we've saved up in that savings account to now purchase a new car with no financing, no monthly payments, no interest, nothing, right? Now, again, this is different than how many people do it. And I know that there's zero interest or no interest payments on cars. I've just never been a fan of having car payments. I don't think that people should have car payments. That's how I believe, you know, in personal finance. Like one of the things I believe is that if you don't have a car payment, you're not beholden to somebody for that. And so uh, that's how we use one of our savings accounts. So another one that we would have, for example, is we have savings accounts for insurance. We have insurance on our house. We have insurance on cars. We have insurance on you know, life insurance, all these things. And we put money aside every month for insurance and then insurance payments come out of that account. 
We save for gifts, we save for holidays, we save for vacations, we save for, I think the other one is like uh, house repairs we save for. Uh, So a lot of these different accounts that we have are, again, just like earmarked for the major items that you know you're going to have moving forward every single year. So you know you want to take a vacation, start saving for it now. You know you're going to have insurance, it should never be a surprise, so take your annual premiums of all your insurance, break it down into a monthly amount, and start saving that monthly. So That's why we use the multiple saving account kind of method. I know it's sometimes can be confusing and a lot of people get really confused with having multiple accounts at one time. But again, we find it to be really, really easy. And again, it's a great way to know where you stand financially and how much you need to save and uh, just having that peace of mind that the money is there when you need it for different life events. So hopefully this helps out. As always, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And until next time, happy trading. Thanks for joining us on The Daily Call. Be sure to subscribe right now for more daily options trading ideas, strategies, and tactics to help you learn how to play smarter, more profitable trades. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a rating and a review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on The Daily Call from OptionAlpha.com.